Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to send data from Python to Unity using a TCP connection. So I'm just going to run through the code. Uh, it's all available on GitHub, so there's no real need to kind of type it all out for you here. Uh, so we're going to start off by creating a thread to run our server-side connection in Unity. This prevents uh, holding up any of Unity's update functions and things like that. Uh, and then this is basically creating the server. Uh, we start the connection so that we can receive any data that's sent over. Here is probably where you'll start deviating. So I'm sending data as strings. Um, that means that I need to use this kind of decoding to get the information back out from the bytes that we receive. You might be sending floats, you might be sending other types of information. So you'll decode your, your data depending on that. Then we're just gonna do our thing with the data basically. So for me, that's get a position out of the data so that I can show the cube move in the scene. And then just a quick response from the server back to the client so that the client knows that the data was received. And then this is just the getting the position uh, from the string. And then over in Python, we have a client side connection. So we say what IP address and what port number we're gonna connect to. This is the data that we're gonna send over. So then we create a TCP socket like this, and then we connect to the uh, IP address and port that we want. We encode our data, and then we send it along on the socket. And then this is the response that we get from the server. So we're just gonna print that back out to show that it's worked in the Python side. Uh, so if we jump into Unity, I have a scene, I've created a cube, and I've attached the listener script on. I've made sure that the port number in Unity matches the port number that we're sending to in Python. And then, very important, I press play on Unity first because that's the server. Python won't be able to connect to anything unless Unity is running. I got this thread abort exception. That's just because I'm not closing my threads properly. I can just ignore it, basically. So Unity is running. Our cube's at position 000. And then if we go into Python and we run this script, Python will send 123, it received 123 back. So that means that the server sent a response back to us. And then if we go into Unity, we can see that the position got updated and the connection works.